In today's video, I will be telling you guys some survivor tips for beginners to help you start your journey for survivor. So, with all that said, uh, let's get into it. As someone with almost 8,000 hours in Dead by Daylight, I can definitely tell you the DVD has changed a lot from 2016 on to 2024. But some things on Survivor stay the same, some things have been changed. So, as a beginner, you guys are probably wondering which survivor you should start leveling first, which survivor you should actually care about. So for a beginner, there are mainly two survivors that stand out from the rest. Those two survivors are Dwight and Meg. So starting off with Meg, her three digital perks which are Adrenaline, Quick and Quiet and Spring Burst. We've got Adrenaline which grants you 50% the haste status effect for 3 seconds and instantly heals you one health state after all the generators have been done. Then we've got Quick and Quiet which basically makes you silent when you are sprint vaulting a locker or you're sprint vaulting uh, a window. Next, we got Sprint Burst, which grants you 50% haste for 3 seconds the moment you start running. These strategic perks are very, very useful in all stages of the game as a beginner, as a mid player, as a late game player. For me personally, I do use Adrenaline in one of my survival builds. Adrenaline is still a very good meta perk nowadays, though it has been changed a little bit. But either way, it's still a very, very, very needed perk. Moving on to Dwight, his three teachable perks consist of Bond, Leader and Prove Thyself. Bond allows you to see all your, all your survivor teammates within a 36 meter radius. Leader allows you to increase the action speed for cleansing, opening gates, healing, unhooking, sabotaging and unlocking chests or gates by 25%. And then we got Proof Data, which increases the repair speed by 10%, depending on how many survivors there are within 4 meters of your location. Now, you're probably wondering, since there are two survivors to, that are very useful for beginners, which one you should start going first? Dwight's strategic perks mainly consist of a passive team-based perks, whilst Meg's strategical perks consist of more of a solo, more of an, an aggressive side of perks. If you're looking to go more on the passive side, then I suggest going with Dweet and running Prove Thyself with Bond, that will help you out quite a lot in the beginner stage. Or if you're looking to go more on a solo, more aggressive side, I suggest you running Adrenaline and Spring Burst together. Moving on now to which survivor you should buy First. So if you've played Dead by Daylight long enough, you probably have enough iridescent shards to buy a survivor. But you're probably wondering which survivor is best to buy, which survivor you should not buy, which survivor is good, which survivor is horrible. So let's get into that. There are a lot of survivors in Dead by Daylight for you to choose from. Some are free, some are with DLCs. But there are mainly two survivors that stand out from the rest. Those are Kate and Fang. Now, th the reason why these two survivors stand out further from the rest are again because of their teachable perks. Kate's three teachable perks of consist of Boil Over, Dance With Me and Windows of Opportunity. Now, Dance With Me and Boil Over, they are overall average perks. However, Windows of Opportunity is an excellent perk for beginners here as it allows you to see the aura of pallets, windows and even breakable walls within a certain radius which is a very very useful perk to have since as a beginner you probably will not know the map you won't, you won't know the map as well so you won't know the vault locations you won't know where the pallets are etc etc so I highly recommend this perk it's a very very useful perk I even see people using it at late game while dance with me and boil over overall in general I say they are average perks as I said it, they're not really too effective moving on to Fang Min now Fang's three digital perks which are alert light and technician now light is the perk that I mainly want to talk about here now I know I said that Spring Burst is one of the best exhaustion perks in the game which it is however if you get bored of Spring Burst and you want to actually start sprinting from the start of the game you don't want to like have to walk through a amount of generators which can take you a while I would suggest Light as a very 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 good alternative here 
Light basically grants you 50% haste for 3 seconds after you sprint vault either a pallet or a locker. I mean either a pallet or a window. Me personally, I prefer using light over sprint burst. I'm not really a sprint burst type of a survivor. I prefer using light a lot in my builds. But sprint burst is also a very good alternative if you don't mind walking to generators or you don't mind saving your saving your sprint first when the killer finds you so you can sprint away. Then it's up to you whether to swap to light or stay with sprint burst. Moving on to alert and technician. Alert can be also a very useful perk as it would allow you to see the killer for 5 seconds after the killer performs a break action which if he breaks a pallet or breaks a generator you will be able to see them for roughly 5 seconds. Technician is also a very handy perk here since when you're a beginner you're probably also getting used to hitting skill checks so this perk basically reduces the range of your repair noise by 8 meters and if you fail a skill check, it will suppress the explosion and the loud noise notification given to the killer. However, if you do fail a, a skill check, it will regress the generator by 3% depending on what level is the perk. If it's level 1, it will regress the generator by 5%, by level 2, 4%, by level 3, only 3%. Her Fang's teachable perks are a very, very handy ones, I would say, for beginner. I would suggest going with Fang over Kate. However, it depends on you. If you're going for more of a passive side, I suggest going for Fang. If you want to go more aggressive, you want to learn the, more of the map, you want to learn the palettes, I suggest going for Kate since Windows Opportunity gives you the ability to learn the maps and everything about the maps itself. Moving on to items. Now, for Survivor, there are three items to use. You've got med kit, flashlight, and toolboxes. For a beginner, you probably have been using a brown toolbox or something like that since you won't have many items uh, starting off. Items that aren't really best or worst items, it really depends on how you are playing. For me, I prefer using more of flashlights since I'm more of a, an aggressive survivor more rather than a passive one, but it comes down to a preference. While using a medkit, you can heal yourself, which is a very useful thing. While using toolboxes, you can do gens much faster. While using a flashlight, you can just get flashlight saves, blind the killer, and help you out during chase. Now, probably the most beginner-friendly item to use are either medkits or toolboxes. Since with a flashlight, if you want to go for flashlight saves or you want to actually blind the killer, you will need to learn the timing for flashlight saves and you need to actually learn how to use flashlights properly. Many people say, oh, you just have to like look at the killer's eyes and blind them, which is correct. If you want to actually blind the killer normally during chase, just beam it at his eyes and he will get blinded. However, if you want to go more of a flashlight save, you will need to learn the timing. So, for beginner-wise, if you are a passive survivor, go with a medkit or a toolbox. If you are an aggressive survivor and you want to play more aggressive, you want to learn more, I suggest you have an attempt at going off flashlights, either flashlights or medkits. So, let's move on to how you can easily manage to get flashlight saves. So, with flashlight saves, you need to go in front of the killer when he's picking up a survivor. And when the survivor is next to his shoulder, you start blinding him. As you can see right now in this current clip, eh, the survivor he's picking up is right next to the shoulder the moment I start beaming him. Now, for me, as I said, I do have 8,000 hours in the game, so this is not my first flashlight save that I ever did. <laughs> but... It does take up some practice to get used to flashlights, however, they are pretty simple and pretty easy to learn, they're pretty straightforward, so you shouldn't have any problems in that department. But anyways, that is going to be all for Survivor Tales, hope this video has helped you out the most, I know this is a, was a very very broad explanation on how uh, to play Dead by Daylight for beginners about some tips. But if you have any questions or something like that, feel free to comment and I will uh, have and I will reply to you as fast as I can. But anyways, that I said, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good night, guys.